Hello children, how are you? Fine. Well, so welcome to my online video class. Hope so far whatever the classes we have taken, we have discussed in detail about the different stages of the human reproductive systems event and I am sure you could got a very, get a very very clear concept. Now, today in the same topic human reproduction we shall be talking to you about the pregnancy and placentation. As we have discussed in our previous session that the moment the blastosis get attached with the uterine endometrial wall, the process of implantation is complete. Now, once the process of implantation is completed, then the mother within which the implantation took place within her uterus, the mother is called a pregnant mother. Now, there will be phase-wise development of the pregnancy, the development of the embryo in order to give rise to a mature fetus. And there will be sequential or stage-by-stage -stage changes. What are the changes? When the phoboblast gets implanted, now the inner cell mass is developing into different organs, different tissues, different organs. Phase wise, in different months, this development takes place, different organs or organ development takes place. Now, what will happen when the embryo is developing, the outer layer of the blastocyst? This is the outer layer and this is the outer layer of blastocyst we have explained in our previous lesson. What do you call as trophoblast? So this is the layer of trophoblast. Trophoblast layer. Here I have shown only the part from the uterus and the little part of the fallopian tube and the cervix, none other than this. Now this is the trophoblast layer. The blastomeres of trophoblast and the inner cell mass. The inner cell mass, which is by nature stem cell. Why? Because they can give rise to any cell, any tissue, and further develops the organ. This is the inner cell mass. Now, the Blastomia will form a finger-like projections called as chorionic relief. What is it? Now from the cells of the blastomia, a finger-like projections will develop this is what we call chorionic relief. If I draw the chorionic villi around the blastomer, the trophoblast layer which is forming the chorionic villi. This is the chorionic villi. And the inner cell mass is now differentiating to form different organ. 
द फर्स्ट ऑर्गन डेवलप एट द एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट मान दैट इज फोर वी दैट बिफोर आई गो इन डिटेल अबाउट द फेज वाइज मंथली डेवलपमेंट बाय दैट टाइम द यूटेराइन इन आर वॉल विल एनसर्कल एनसर्क बाय डेवलपिंग अराउंड द Round the corio. This is the corio ni vili. Corio ni vili. This is the corio ni vili. Corio ni vili. Where from the corio ni vili produce? From the outer trophoblast layer of the blastocyst. Now. the uterine wall encircles after repeated proliferation the uterine wall slowly encircles the entire blastocyst entire blastocyst is now encircled by the uterine wall uterine inner wall Covers the entire blastocyst. Now, the outer trophoblast layer and the inner layer of uterus interdigested with each other, as if they are the same component. They are by forming a barrier, a barrier, functional and structural barrier around the growing. embryo so if i draw the barrier by rubbing this part slightly this part slightly so suppose this is the uterine wall this is the uterine wall part this is the uterine wall part now a continuous barrier form around the blastomere this is the continuous layer this layer is formed as a joint venture by the trophoblast layer of Blastocyst and the uterine wall. This barrier we call as placenta. What is it called? Placenta. Within inside there is blood vessels, blood. so the placenta is a structural and functional unit acts as a barrier in between the uterus of mother and the growing embryo is that very clear so inner cell mass will develop into a embryo suppose this is i am showing the immature embryo this is i am showing the immature embryo which is a growing embryo now this is a growing embryo where it is growing where it is growing within the mother's womb called uterus covered by a functional and structural barrier called placenta is that very clear how the placenta has been formed placenta has been formed jointly by the by the Trophoblast cells of the blastocyst and the mother's 
uterine wall of endometrium. Now, the embryo is growing inside the placenta. Within the placenta, there is a fluid. This fluid we call amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid. And there is a direct connection through the placenta. The growing embryo is connected within the uterine wall of mother by means of a cord. So if I draw this cord like this. By means of this cord, the growing embryo is now connected with the mother's uterus through the placenta. This cord is called umbilical cord. Umbilical cord. It is through this cord. The nutrient oxygen through placenta, the barrier coming to the growing embryo, and the carbon dioxide and waste material so produced by the growing embryo through the, this umbilical cord crossing the placenta reaching to the mother's blood and through mother's blood it is eliminated. So placenta acts as a structural and functional barrier. Is that very clear to you? Now the embryo will further grow. Embryo will further grow. This is the umbilical cord, umbilical cord, how long it will grow, up to 270 to 280 days. within the mother's womb or uterus. This period of development is called gestation period. Gestation period. Is that very clear? Now, the placenta not only acts as a structural functional barrier, but it is having an endocrine role. So many hormones are released from this placenta. What are those hormones? Hormones from placenta. Very, very important role, endocrine role it is playing in the placenta. This is one human Chorionic gonadotropin (HCG) human chorionic gonadotropin human placental lactogen released from the same placenta (HPC). Human, human placental lactogen oxytocin. Then estrogen progesterone 
एस्ट्रोजन एंड प्रोजेस्टेर दीज आर द डिफरेंट हॉर्मोन रिलीजियस फ्रॉम दी प्लासेंटा विच एक्स स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल बैंड Apart from that, during pregnancy, the level of estrogen, progesterone, the level of thyroxine increases many fold. Why they are increased? To support the pregnancy. Number one and number two. to support the different metabolic changes taking place within the pregnant mother is that clear to you very much i suppose you got a very very clear concept about this now what are the organ developed in different periods of gestation during if i run this part during at the end of Gestation period. How long it will continue? It will continue for two hundred seventy to two hundred eighty days, or almost we say nine months. What are the organs you found at the end of first month? The first organ develop within the growing embryo or immature fetus is development of heart. Development of heart. And by hearing the heart beat with the help of a stethoscope. an expert doctor can easily understand the condition of growing embryo by hearing the heart beat at the end of one month it is very clearly heard the beating of heart that is the first organ develop within the embryo is the heart at the end of second month Second month, the digit limb and digit the limbs and digit develop at the end of second month. Is that very clear? At the end of first trimester, first trimester, what does it call first trimester? Means at the end of first three months, the third month, end of third month. The hair development of hair. on head here on head at the end of fifth month at the end of fifth month the whole body here develops what end of fifth month end of fifth month the Feet are start moving within the mother's uterus. There is movement of feet. End of fifth month, movement of of feet. At the end of six month, end of end of six month. One more thing I will tell you: at the end of trimester, first trimester, the 
genitalia also develop genitalia that is male and female genitalia develops at the end of 6 month the body is covered with hair the eyelashes eye holes are prominently developed and at the end of 9 month now the fetus is fully mature and ready to ready to get birth how it will take place so gestation period is over now child birth child birth child birth when the embryo is fully grown during the gestation period gestation period of approximately 270 to 280 days or roughly we say 9 month when the fetus is fully mature it from its placenta covering and from the mature fetus a slight jerk is induced this is called as this is called as fetal ejection jerk fetal ejection jerk this fetal ejection jerk jointly created by the mature fetus and the placenta which will trigger to the which will trigger to the pituitary gland of mother and this pituitary gland will send a signal through a hormone that hormone we call oxytocin this oxytocin hormone now released by the pituitary gland of the mother pregnant mother but the release of hormone first of all induced by the fetal ejection jerk fetal ejection jerk this fetal ejection jerk induces that is gives a signal to the mother's pituitary gland then pituitary gland releases oxytocin hormone this oxytocin hormone comes to the uterine muscle oxytocin hormone so if i write this part if i write this part now oxytocin hormone the release from mother's pituitary gland gives a signal to the uterus and uterus undergo contraction this contraction of uterus further gives a feedback to the pituitary gland pituitary gland of mother to release more oxytocin the more oxytocin now induces the uterus to undergo severe jar and this jar will now insist the mature fetus to expel from the birth canal through the birth canal from the uterus this is what we call giving birth is called parturition parturition 
that is giving birth of birth of newborn baby. Is that very clear? So power duration, you could get a very clear concept, I suppose. Now, by that time, mother is almost reaching towards the end of gestation period. There is a continuous development within the mammary gland, breast, and it started producing milk. And when the baby the baby is expelled from the mother's uterus, the phenomenon what you call perturbation, the mother started producing milk. The first few days, the milk contained a dense yellow color content. That is what you call cholesterol, which is very rich in antibody. This gives a protection that is antibody to the newborn baby to fight against the heart disease. Yes. Here, one more thing I would like to emphasize, the placenta which acts as a structural and functional barrier through which the oxygen, the nutrient from mother's blood coming to the growing embryo via umbilicus cord and the waste material, nitrogenous waste and carbon dioxide coming out and into the mother's bloodstream. Apart from that, it is the placenta which acts as a barrier to prevent the growing embryo or to prevent rather to say to prevent the growing fetus against different disease causing bacteria and other microbes. Number one. Number two, it is this placenta also acts as a barrier to prevent the entry of the drugs which the mother is induced by that time, although not the all drugs, certain drugs can get a chance to enter through the placenta also. If at all it happens, then the fetus can have certain deformities. But most of the drugs, common drugs, which are the mother is given during the pregnancy period, are being protected by the placenta to make an entry into the Ring. Is that very clear? Now the baby is getting birth. With this, I have completed your whole topic of human production. I suppose you got a very very clear concept. But before I wind up, I will show you a clipping so that you can get a very very clear concept about when the baby is about to give birth. This is the fully mature fetus, that is the baby, which is almost ready to get birth. And while the baby will be getting birth, that is during perturbation, after the baby is expelled, immediately after that, the placenta which was covering the baby is also expelled from the mother's womb. So, I suppose you got a very, very clear concept. With this, thank you for today and see you in next class. Thank you.